The daughter of Jehovah has always been lifted up. Thank, Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Amen. So uh it's good to have you. I've been following Thank you, you. some time. Thank and, you. Uh, start by thanking you for the surprise you gave me on that day. Thank you, sir. I imagine a day we come that you will do such a thing for me uh, without me asking for it. That's the beauty of it. And uh, thank, thank you. you sir. That's the video I was looking for. We saved it, but I don't know, you know, technology sometimes can be complicated. So, but that's yes, Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. That kind of gesture. So how is your family today? Well, I thank you. And thank you for for helping me psychologically during COVID, <laughs> the lockdown in Nigeria. <laughs> it's still crazy, but uh, we thank God for life. That, that's very important, you know. Okay, while I was doing a research on, mm -hmm. on you, I was doing a research about you, your life, I realized that uh, the facts are not too clear. Uh, someone will write that you were born in 19 something, another one will write that you were born, born in 19 something. Just a minute, please. What's that? You've seen it. Huh? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> let me let me see. We're trying to see if there is another there is another way we can uh, Okay, we'll manage. <laughs> Why do you do like this now? You are going to see great people but you. I was coming to, to see you on a very important issue. Yes, that you will pay attention to people that say you are sister here by the thread. They never the want to know. Don't answer them. They are poor food. They are poor food. You bet they will fire and they are talking. It's enough for your body to go viral because what your eye have seen in this society, it is not a small thing. Ah, the name of what remember those governments that time when they were frustrating you because you are discussing the truth of the country. If now what the society will be at the name of what now you should even be in Senate, you should even be the head. You are a good journalist who tell the truth, not even the truth. Yes, 
of your arts and everything. So I have you we can draw to be a reference material. Mm -hmm. even, so we don't know. So can you tell us from the beginning who is Helen Paul? Everything. You've told me a bit about your story before and that moved me me to say no, I must talk to this lady because you'll be able to encourage the story. Okay, so my name is Helen Paul. Um, I am an half caste, born in Lagos, <laughs> but trained by an Edo woman. So I have the right to sound for Edo state as well. The reason I say I'm uh, a Lagosian is because I was born in Lagos. If you are born abroad, you say you are an American. So I'm a to culture. I'm from Edo State. From, that's my mother's side. Uh, and I'm always very proud to say, Mi baba. So if I'm trying to claim a father's side, I'll say I'm from the heavenly place. And I'm so happy to claim that. Uh, then Helen Paul, I'm a very just playful. Be, just slowly, slowly. Well, according to the story I heard growing up, born out of um, rape, I, I don't I don't have any particular father, but I have an heavenly father because I, I think things even work for me <laughs> beyond my expectations sometimes so and I've learned all my life to cast my cares and just talk to God the one that knows all without you talking uh the ones that knows the end from the beginning so I'm, I'm comfortable so that's why sometimes I write on Instagram I'm comfortable in my space because that's when I have time to focus and think and talk to the person that I don't see but that listens and love me unconditionally but I don't feel any pity. I don't feel bad about it. And I don't know why God has blessed me with so many fathers at the end of the day. You are there <laughs> to, to father me. There is this man called Chief Ikuku, you know, um, from nowhere, just took an interest in me. When I was running my PhD, the man would just send money to me without me even asking. It's from, from worry. Uh, without me even, he just took interest in me. So I have many people like that, like professors in school, uh, in fact, even to mothers, you know, like my supervisor in school, Professor Osita, like my professor in University of Lagos, uh, Associate Professor Felix Amorua, Professor Drone, Professor Ahmed Jerry, as lecturers. They are so interested. So God is so mindful of me. It, it, it makes all things work together for my, my good. Sometimes I sit down and I look at myself. I say, do I deserve this? I don't even know how things are working. People are really ready to achieve this. All I just do is cast my cares and live a conscious life. And when I say conscious life, I'm conscious of the one that really loves me, both to will and to do, and that is the sovereign God. So I'm sorry, I'm not preaching or something, but I'm just letting you know that I'm not supposed to be pitied because I'm even doing very better than those that think that they they have it all. Because I, I have the best of the best. Wow. At what stage did you realize that you didn't have a father like the rest of your friends 
your class? Oh, I, 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 I grew up knowing that from, from my childhood days. You know, statesmen for Mantis. Um, I was uh, trained by my great grandmother, late grandma, great grandmother. And every time, sometimes in the middle of the night, you just see Mama crying. Else, and over, she speaks pidgin and Edo. Else, and over, oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 like, hey, my child, my child, the one that doesn't have a father. God, please help me father this child. Help me take care of this child. Oh, when it's time for it's our sports and we're looking for clothes to wear and they're saying uh, yellow house to pay for so, so, so amount of of cloth uh, uh, for the entire sport. Mama begins to ask people around to support her. Lesson, you, you know, she wanted, she said, naturally, I'm a sanguine. I want to play. I want to make noise. I want to look for trouble. I want to fight. So when they come to report me to my mama, mama usually will say that you way you not get person. You know, you don't get papa, you know, get mama, you didn't enter Wahala. Make you know yourself, oh, you know, so I grew up hearing it, but it worked for me positively. Wow. Wow. So tell us about uh, your primary school, secondary school days, your recollection. Uh, well, I born in Fadei, but that in Fadei, um, Fadei Yaba, Lagos, went to Onoyade Community Primary School. I was, I think, on a day school two, you know, so we have school one, school two. Uh, then from there, proceeded to Jibo High School, had a competition somewhere in Abuja, I think in 1998. I couldn't go back to school. Uh, when I came back, I, um, Mama was already getting Mama very old, and my mother had to come and pick me. I cried. I didn't want to change my school away from Friday. I wanted Friday. So they still changed me to mainland high school. And I remember that growing up, Mama used to say that if I offend anyone, she, according to her pigeon, you say, if Helene offend any of you now for this compound or any family or anybody, men are not bitter more. Men are just called reporter to me. Now by myself, I go beat my picking. Anybody who help me beat my picking, go, go, go against them. I, 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 I grew up hearing that. And, and according to my traditional name, she used to call me almost Take me to eat. You say, hey, omo no more. Omo lilo. Omo naigbe. And when they call me down, naigbe, it makes me feel like hey, anybody just report me to my mama. Mama will beat me. Mama does not have much energy. So the flogging will not be so, so tight, you know. So mama gave me that, um, uh, that, that, that pet name. And till, till date, I don't feel to mainland high school. So for mainland high school, we finished. I think I didn't make my literature in English, and I had to go to Bejide Memorial College for an external exam, which I made all my results, uh, casting my case to get into the university. So I tried Ife. It didn't work because I just wanted to go to Ife because my church, the, uh, my church, everybody was in Ife, and they were always talking about Great Ife, Great Ife. So I wanted to go to Ife. So uh, I think the circle which uh, you belong really matter. The circle then, everybody was in school. If you're not in school, you're not okay. So I wanted to be in that circle of, I went to Ife. So, but Ife didn't work, and I tried Uni Lauren. Uni Lauren worked. But before we could gather money, myself and my mom to Uni Lauren, by the time I got to Uni Lauren, we had that um, admission at close two weeks ago and there's no way I could register. I was so ashamed to go home because my mommy had gone to share testimony. Praise the Lord, my kid went to school. Parents have started using that to score their child. But you see, Ellie is focused. Will you know focus? How do I go back to say I didn't get into that school? So I didn't want to go home. I I didn't want to tell my mom about it. So I stayed in the performing art department of the University of Illori, saying I will I will stay here. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, to God be the glory, God sent an helper uh, in person of associate professor Felix Amorua, who was a lecturer then at the University. Felix Amorua. So the man saw me in the evening and the man said, Come, are you not the girl that they said missed admission? I said, yes. He said, this is to eight. 
what are you still doing in this department? Only you. Then I started crying. So I don't know where to go. I don't know what to go and tell my mommy that I did not get the admission. I don't want to tell any bad news. I will be sleeping here. I don't mind. And the man said, this is dangerous. You can't be sleeping outside. You are in a university um, environment. They could take advantage of you. So I let them take advantage of me, but sir, you can help me. I can never forget. And the man said, well, I don't know you before, uh, uh, but if you don't mind, come to me. Let me give you shelter. You are like a younger baby to me. Casting my cares, I don't even... Yeah. And I said, sir, are you married? He said, yes, but my wife had gone to serve. I said, okay. So I started living with him. And anytime he's going for class, he'll just tell me, um, you can eat anything you like from the kitchen. You can cook. You have my younger sister. I don't know why. My spirit is just um, saying I should take care of you. I said, thank you very much, sir. So after this, I said, can I follow you to class? He said, yes, you can follow me. So I followed him for his lectures. And I started following him for classes. Even many, uh, many students didn't know that I wasn't a student. I Tell me to just write any number, but I should make sure that maybe it's 10 or I can't remember already. I should just write any number. So I, I kept imitating people's number and I'll just write. After a while, I just told him that, sir, I'm ready to go to Lagos now. At least school is going on holiday. He said yes. So I came back to Lagos. Everybody thought I came for holiday. I started rushing to write exams again, which I did. Uh, but I, I couldn't make school again. So luckily, for me, I got an opportunity to work at a co real mix studios, a co FM around the LTV8 compound. So I started working there as a receptionist. My mom heard of it one day and called me, One year, while you are in Lagos, why didn't you go back to school? And I said, eh, I'm doing IT. My mom, of course, but the woman no really read books. She just said, hey, I kill on your bed. I said, Industrial uh, uh, training. My mother said, Okay. If people say that IT, but it's so fast, I say they, they, they rushed it, you know. But I was in the core remix studios working um, every time when I met the late. Please, I don't know why I, I, I like you. What can you do in times of TV? I said, I don't know. He said, You are very firm and I can, can train you to be a producer. I said, I said, well, sir, what is a producer? And he taught me. Then I said, I'm looking for a job, but this job, I can't leave it for now. And the man gave me an opportunity to resume your Tommy television for six, and I usually would close for 12. So I resume Echo FM in the morning for eight in the morning. I close for 5.36, and I re resume this communication. Uh, that is your Tommy television. I resume that for 6, 6.30, and I close 12 or 1 in the middle of the night after a particular program, and I sleep in the studio. So I did that for years. Uh, Why doing that? God was training me um, in, in the entertainment. Uh, I don't know. I just became very popular, and that's it. Wow. Wow, wow. But you were determined that you go the whole org. So can you tell me how you, know, you made it up to PhD level? What happens? Uh, like, like I said, I just live a conscious life and uh, I'm very good in identifying opportunities and seizing it. I'm very good at, in my um, private um, time. I'm always with a pen or paper or biro, I have it constantly ready to pen down, pen down anything that comes to me on a constant basis. So I'm very, like my friend would say, Ellen or Buru, but that doesn't mean that I am Buru. I'm sensitive. I pencil down names. Sometimes friends that wished me happy birthday, the time they put posted when they posted is it on a story i'm sorry some people don't like that but i'm very observant you know uh so i pencil it down you know and i'm very sensitive who is who in my life at what point did this person change am i the one that is lacking is it my attitude to ready to take me on like i said um the people that god has sent to me i just pencil it down and i begin to make conscious effort 
efforts in keeping the communication in submitting to learn um in uh, in in getting things from them like like i remember when i discussed with you and i was telling you since when i've been following what i noticed when you left the country what made you leave the country how you started changing the other country i told you about it and that's when i took an interest and likeness you know i didn't reach out but i was just learning from afar and i'm very good at doing that i just learned from afar i don't need to write i love you but i'm following and I'm learning and sometimes i go into prayers with it and i see that those people are also interested in me you know a unit like them some of them are like any problem is too playful but the woman that supervised, well, supervised me for phd just called me i said i don't i think anytime anytime you write she's an evil professor but she's a professor uh, She's she's an evil, evil woman, but she's a scholar. She's very intelligent. But she said, but every time I, I read your paper, your writing is fine. You dot your I's, you cross your T's. And that shows that you know what you're doing. So I think you should uh, mellow a little bit. And I said, okay, ma, I will change. So anytime I'm in a class, I'll be quiet. There's a you know, which one do you want me to do? But I notice that most times I'll go to her, mommy, I don't understand. And this mommy, I read this literature and I don't get it. And she said, You are so interested to learn. I don't, I don't, I don't need a child to be very brilliant. I need a child who is ready to learn, and that is who you are. So I submitted under her, and I noticed that she carefully mentored me. Then a, another professor now in she also took a likeness to Helen and would consciously keep up, consciously would help me. So I would say the place of leadership, uh, being a discipler, and of course, consciously being a dis, dis, uh, consciously submitting to be properly discipled um, really helped me. So I would say people, when they say, that's what I think I have working for me, and I bless God for that. So how difficult was... Uh your field of studies. Could you just give me like flat? Uh, I, I won't lie, very, very difficult, especially um, sometimes when you want to just express yourself in a certain way and you have your professor just telling you you can't write this kind of word. You have to, this is how scholars write and you have to start changing. So changing is not easy, but it's for the good. So it wasn't easy. Then secondly, you have going to combine my PhD, I was not in the house. I had to stay inside the University of Lagos in the hostel. I took an hostel. And like I said, having people around you makes life sweet. So I have people who were working in the house, taking care of the kids. Sometimes when they're coming back from school, they will have to branch move and join me in Yaba. We rented a place in Yaba and running things to go and you want to have your defense. You're so scared because one lecturer have said something. Have it all. You can't bring this kind of hearing to like you know hearing co presentation. You know? No, but I, I I had to learn that uh, so you have to apply this three and know <laughs> for politics, H for humility, D for what? Okay. So I, I had to do that. And while I was doing that, I didn't want to feel like a failure or sometimes when I feel tired and frustrated and I want to achieve, maybe by right, I need to achieve this PhD by 2000 and uh, maybe 16, 17 and it's taking time. I remember then I will leave it for a while, apply for another course, my MBA and MP, you know, so uh, I had to add those ones to it and I did some professional courses like storytelling, and the art of storytelling, the uh, communication skills. I, I was doing other things to distract 
myself. And I realized that while I tried to do that, it was also helping me in times of academics to apply, you know, the same thing I learned here. So along the way, did you uh, learn a lot of, did you read a lot of literature, literary works? Yes, of course. Of, of course. Yes, I of, of, Yes, of, of course, there's no way you do theater that you won't read lots of books. A lecturer can give you close to 18 literature books for you to read and analyze, and we do that. But in PhD, your focus will be um, your primary. And my primary then, of course, I wrote about the Nigerian stand-up comedy as an alternative form of theater, reviving our conventional theater, bringing reasons why people should come to, you know, um, to the theater, the conventional theater we know about using the stage, the lights, the costume, the props, you know, and of course, audience reactions, you know, uh, so that's what I did. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, before we continue, let's calm you down. I can see you're already very, very, very hot. So. In fact, I don't, I, I don't really like being too serious. <laughs> I feel like I'm too serious. That's, that, but that is one of the hallmarks of being a scholar. Scholars are usually very hyper, very serious, you know, and as a PhD holder, you're also a teacher. So you are teaching us. I, I really like to be seen as a playful comedian or serious lady. That's what I want to give. Goodness, don't, don't worry. We will get there. <laughs> 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 and talented. You are very right. That's one of the comments I'm reading out there. Yes. yes. Thank Again, you. I had wanted to ask you, uh, I know that my good friend Richard Mufed Damijo went back to school to read law. He's already a superstar. Well, um, to me, I'm so sorry. I don't see myself yet as And of course, techniques of acting and styles. And of course, there's no way you do acting that you will know a lot about psychology. So I know that as a student, I'm playing a role as a student. So I don't go with an air of uh, the superstardom. Like I say, I am very good in differentiating. If I want to come to you as a disciple, disciple, you know, I want to learn from you, I will totally submit and leave the family background, leave everything. So you might discover outside later, but for me, I just want to get what I need to get. I remember telling my friend here in America, I said, oh, I don't mind being a receptionist in Tyler Perry studio, but all I know is I must penetrate America. And so like reception, I said, yes, because this is not my kingdom. So in my kingdom, I can be forming king, but when you get to a place where you want to take over, you have to submit and learn. You know, so that's who I am. So I didn't really have any difficulty mixing it. But sometimes I see people in the University of Lagos, students saying, is this an impulse? She's not even fine in real life. Look how she is. And I'm laughing. That, oh, 
that, that means I'm playing a great role. Oh, yes, oh, that's, that's good. Um, as a psychologist, I love to play with emotions. As a theatre practitioner, you're predictable. That's what I I'm the one that wants you to laugh when I want you to laugh. I want you to cry when I want you to cry. I want you to keep quiet when I, I want you to keep quiet. So I'm in control. So I keep researching. If I don't, for, for, for many years, people have related with me, work with me, play with me, but they never knew that I didn't have a particular father. If you ask me, as your father, oh, it's fine. My mom and my dad have divorced. You know how men do now. I, I give you the story I want to give you. So you don't need to know anything. That's it. Wow. Uh, okay. Can you tell me some of the things you had to do to survive? Uh, well, maybe because um, before we go into your career now and everything, but the things you have to do. In my own case, I was a village teacher. I would, I would, I would say um, is what I had to do. I would say is life is a ladder. Uh, you have to go through it to learn one or two things and make you a stronger person. So the some. Of the things I did that made me a stronger person was having to wash some people's clothes in Ijufag by every Saturday to raise money for myself and my mom to eat. Um, having to work as a receptionist that have shaped me to be who I am today in terms of dealing with people and, and of course, conversations and negotiation skills that I have now. Um, having, having to play the role Having to call some of my mates and see an uncle, which is not easy for many people, you know, just for me to get what I have to get. So it's a process for me that has shaped me to work who I am today. So I won't really say, and I'm still doing it. So not that, that I have stopped. I just want more. You have some people that even the great Wali Adenuga will still say yes, sir, too. So we're all still submitting. So I think I did all of that, and it's okay. It's a story that makes you strong. Was there ever a time you looked at yourself and you felt a sense of pity? That's why. Why? Ah, I forget things. So I let go of things on time. But I think there, there are times where I can't, I can't, I can't pin it down. Because I let go easily. I just want to move on to the next thing that will make people happy and that will make me happy as well. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, now let's get to the beautiful side of life. <laughs> At what stage did that break, you know, started coming in? Well, the break is still about to start coming in. Uh, <laughs> but for... Uh, I already oh, oh. a break for you. Amen. So the fact that I'm able to sit and learn from you means that there is something special about you. Thank yes. you. I didn't invite you here to lecture you. I brought you here to lecture me and lecture my followers. <laughs> Tell you that you can see me scribbling down. I'm learning from you. Nobody knows everything in life. Okay? So I want you to be as relaxed as possible and tell us, yeah. yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. Um, of course, you know, you know the choleric part of me. Uh, so this is my choleric part. But I would say different breaks at different times when I never knew I was going to be married to the person I'm married to. I just used to call him Uncle Femi and I liked him. And, you know, and I realized that the guy actually wanted marriage. And people kept telling him, you're too unique for him. I don't know why. Something just tells me that she's the one I should take care of her. And I remember telling him that I don't want to change my name from Helen Paul to your name. Is that okay? And he said, oh, no problem. So far, you are my wife. And secondly, my children 
children are bearing my name. You are the one that will be jealous of the name, you know. That's a great breakthrough for me. Then in times of academics, when I got my, um, my first master's, then when I go on my PhD, a great break for me in times of my academic career or my academic pursuit. Then in times of the entertainment um, career, first break was when I won the Nigerian best Nigerian gospel singer in 1999 in Abuja, Nice first award. I remember that I, I was lapped from, from Lagos to a to a part of, uh, I don't know, I can't even remember, before I go to Abuja, they're coming back as well. So uh, the beautiful first female Nigerian comedian, impression of Mandy, was one of those that also lapped me coming back. And I had my pla I had my plague, uh, my plaque, my first award, and with the small money they gave me, a Nigerian International Fest, um, International song festivals then in 1999 cliff came and he's i don't know what he saw he just said there's something about you i just like you you're so petite you're cute would you want to come with me and i said yes and why class i take me around there's something i seen on newspaper and the new nigerian sensation with white cliff john i like and in new nigeria i'm a receptionist though <laughs> yeah so it was all over the place then my first, my first million job, oh my goodness, and my first thousand jobs, you know, just came while I was still a receptionist. And I and I'm records for me. No, don't edit it. So let's know about the first thousand <laughs> jobs. Um, you are not an editor, I'm the editor, so don't edit it. Oh, I also, I also learned editing from you, you and reading about great people like you, reading about the late Pella, reading about, um, um, and knowing about uh, Adeboye, you know, the, one, the, the late Adeboye. I learned that there are some things as uh, an artist or celebrities that should be kept quiet until you're writing your own book and then you release it. So that is a process. You are too. You are too smart for yourself. <laughs> wow! 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 Okay, so tell us about your different talents. I mean, they said you are a singer. So can you talk to me about? <laughs> <laughs> I read it. Oh, I don't. I don't know. That's what I read. Yes, I I, I sing. I started up backing up artists in the studio then because I remember when I did uh, uh, the most popular one. Uncle, please tell us a story by P Square. Uh, then, um, boy, I don't really want to play your game. Then I also did Ijukwego. Oh, well, it don't happen by P Square. And also did some backup for Inka Davis. Anytime she's recording, then in the Korea Mix Studios, Olufumi. Uh, many people, when they come to the studio, then I, I do their backup. And from there, I, I discovered that one of my mentor in person you know, Ayu Adefe and Matthew, who discovered the baby voice, because I didn't even know. I'm just very good with imitating people. But they are the ones that made me start seeing the monetary part of it. That's why I said, for my journey, people have really helped me. You don't just have Ayo saying, come and do that voice you do. Then they play the record. Oh, yeah, I imitate this voice, and I imitate it. It's okay, I want to record you now. So I just do it. And next thing I'll see money. Uh, and he had to find 300,000. He had to find 200,000. But on the table, on the reception table, my salary was 9,005. Wow. Yes. And you were already a millionaire and you were still going to work as a receptionist. Yes. Wonderful. I love your story. Trust me. Thank you. Please fire on. I'm enjoying this. Fire on. Tell me. Tell me. Tell okay, me. So, so I, I, I remember that there's this um, uncle too called Femi Yewumi who would just tell me, oh, they've paid you so 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 money. Uh, go to this bank, remove so 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 money. And I discovered that they started sending, then he went to open a PO box uh, number for me or something. So he would just tell me, go to Ikeja. I think you have a mail now. I would go. I started seeing um, share certificate name on it. I didn't know what it was. It was later on, I started understanding. I'm like, hey, that's your dividends. I've, I've given them your account. I've sent emails. So I've always had people running things 
for me, I, I don't know. Like I, I remember during COVID, you know, I, I was just depressed. I wanted to see my kids because my kids are here and there was no way I could travel. I remember calling you. I just penciled that up on my mentor's name. I'm like, these people, there's no way I will know you. I won't have see my children. I'm not happy. And you told me, okay, let's try Kutonu Elid. Check, I try, bye. Should we, let me, oh, you yeah, call this person, you know? So I've always had people doing wonders for me when I cast my cares and I'm conscious. A conscious life has been helping me. Wow, wow, wow. So did you ever make your own album? Yes, I, I did some albums. I, like I said, I call myself a recording artist because uh, the, the work is actually gives you the conditions you have to start going to um, different radio stations for interviews so but i didn't want it to clash because i was already being called a comedian or an actress and i'm running that already so i started doing more of recording uh, just being a recording artist, just record and throw on air, and that's it. But I just know that every gift of God within me must find expression, and that's why I haven't left music or my writing skills or anything. I just keep doing what I want to do. Wow. Okay, I know it's a cliche for people to say, yeah, God help me, God help me, but they say heaven helps those who help them. So what is your strategy now, personally? Let's leave God out of it. What is your personal strategy for uh, getting successful in life? Like I earlier said, living a conscious life. So I'm conscious about the relationships I have. I'm conscious about what I say, who I speak to, where I go, who I call family, who I call mentors, who I call teacher. Why is this person in my life? I'm giving a definition of who is this person, what is this person. So a conscious life has been. I am a calculator, and I can also say that I'm selfish. I, I didn't want to say that. Sometimes I play around using words like my best animal is a chameleon. If I want to achieve it, I'll change to your color. I will submit. Except I say that you want to hurt me, then I might strike you. Wow. Would you say you are sometimes ruthless? I can be sometimes, yes. Like I said, I'm unpredictable. I'm also learning about myself. You are a work in progress. Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> okay, so let's go. We're almost doing one hour. So let's go to your career now as an entertainer. So tell me, at what stage did you realize you had this talent in you and it's something that you could commercialize? Like I said, uh, at Eco Real Mix Studios, uh, um, I was being mentored and taken care of by different people. Then, like I said, the person of IUID Fair, who is now working with Super Sport, um, like uh, um, Femi Oyewumi, who I still consciously keep a relationship with, like Matthew, who got me into radio presentation. I just went to visit Matthew then at Link FM, and that's TVC. I went to visit him to say, sir, I miss you at the cool FM. And the guy said, hey, Helen, why you are here? Come. All the AK that you want to tell me, do you know? Let's go on um, radio. My presenters are not around. Just have fun. And I just go on radio. Like, how do I say? Just use that baby voice. And I go on radio saying, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's the governor has entered like this. The governor never give us water. Lagos Water Corporation never work. This governor, he they give flour water to drink. Now all the flour for seven up road. All the flour for Alausa, now he don't drink water where human beings supposed to drink. <laughs> so while I was doing, while I was doing all of that, oh they got... They got the highest phone call ever. People were asking, who is this person? What are you saying about our governor? 
I'm like, I don't mention name. I don't go mention name. So people that I call you, hello, uh, what's your name? My name is Tatafo. Okay, how old are you? I don't know my age. Okay, so how did you come on Radio Continental? You people, you don't, you don't pay attention attention to children. All you adults believe that you are the one that know everything. So we children, we just want to tell you that we are tired though. We want Lagos Water Corporation to give us water. Oh, yay! And I was, as I was saying this, I realized that people started taking notes of it. And Matthew started telling me that, Helen, you might need to be coming to this station all the time, please. I said, okay. So I was always going there, just doing my thing, no payments, I was not a staff, I just go because I was happy that people wanted to listen more, and I did that for about three and a half years without payments, but I was very popular, you know, but I was using the uh, voiceover job that AY has provided, backup singing, you know, to cover up uh, my other, my my, my day to so today spendings, and after for a while, I met um, Senator Go Solomon, who took an interest in me, just giving me money. I met um, Daily Alake, uh, who took an interest in me. And it was Daily Alake and Dudu Productions then that just said, come, this girl, we've been hearing your voice. Hope you work here. I said, no, sir, I don't work here. And Daily, um, Daily Alake just said, you don't mean it. You're not working here. I said, I said, my employer will talk why bad food buy, you know. This child, you and he just told them, Oh, yeah, place our salary, give her employment letter. And that's how I got employment letter from TVC. And they gave me almost all my money. You know, I was very you know, rich then. I was, you know, I got all my reward. So, so sometimes you can be too um favored than um you know, than many, I don't know how to say. But than being deliberately calculated. Sometimes, yes. Fantastic. Yes, I'm laughing and I'm crying. It's true. You can see my eyes. <laughs> and I'm sure we haven't even started. Okay? Uh, so now your job at TVC. So let's so tell us about it. Yeah, so I, I worked in TVC, and after a while, I had to go for my master's, so I resigned. What, what you were doing at TVC? What were you doing? Oh, I was doing my um, radio presentation. It was from there I had to go to uh, FRCN um, to learn more about presentation skills and techniques. So I did that at FRCN, and later I went further to learn um, um, communication in Lagos Business School as the Pan-African University. So I, I, I did um, media and um, certificate in media enterprise and I learned so much from there. So it was TVC that of course had to push me to achieve that. So, but when I started my master's in theater arts, I, I had to resign to focus because I hate, I hate to fail. So I had to start doing that, combining it with the stand-up comedy shows. There was a time AY unconsciously just took a likeness to me and took me up as his baby. And every show AY asked, do you ask AY, who do you want? AY would say, let's use Helen. And I was I was getting richer, having him as um, an uncle or brother recommending me to people and consciously putting me in his shows, you know. Then having Julius Agu, who also just interested in me. Let's go to London every year, buying flight ticket for me, you know, taking me out. You know, I, I would I would just say uh, people generally. So some me, and I need to consciously live a sweet life with people. So that's why I said a conscious life helps most times as well. Well, now I want to give you a PhD task. And that is, I want get into your various characters and characterization. So if you can okay. give me, yes, different, different ones, maybe up to 10, if possible. So it's a big task. Which of them do you want? No, just pick at random. It doesn't matter. 
Okay, the one I always like is Tata Fo. Tata Fo is somebody that that like to say that like to say the truth and nothing but the truth on how adults don't always pay attention to us. All of you, you are saying that it will be good, you will be good. He said that we took independence since 1960. Since 1960, before when we were born, you say it will be good. Now that we are born, you said that it will be good. We are in COVID. Every children are born without laptop. That their money did not buy for them. That is this school that give them, but we we don't have. And when it's time for adults to do election, they will not do billboards saying free food for all. So they be because they can laptop. That's what. Then secondly, uh, um, Chief 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 Colonial, uh, Dele Dele, how are you, my dear? How is everything? My cup is not here. So we're using the Grotowski style, which is just act without the costume, you know. Uh, so Dele Dele, how are you? I'm fine. Hi, <laughs> everything. Did they try? Dele, tell me something. I don't know how you are doing it. The way you keep up with all these young, young girls. The last time I see that you interviewed the Belo Voto, do you go, ha, ha. Were you <laughs> celebrating when you were watching her? But the girl's skin is very, you know, soft to learn times, you know. How did you feel? I didn't look at her face. So she's invisible to you, I was just talking. Ah, tell you, that's so tough public. <laughs> that guy you were looking at. Just like you, so is my bro. Of course, uh, men cannot men cannot marry a girl now. That's a bad attitude. Yes, Aburo, you will marry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's one way. Uh, then Elijah Donjazi, my Donjazi. friend, my friend, how are you? Hmm. Dele, Dele. You are just looking very beautiful. You are, you are somebody that I don't know why you are not going to politics. You know about this country. You work with politicians, but yet, yet, you are not even doing placard. Meanwhile, some entertainers that they don't even know, that don't even know the country, have started doing flyers that they want to be president. <laughs> they lay, ah, your own bulletin is serious. So, Kusha, can I call you back? I'm in the market. <laughs> <laughs> then another one is the town. You have us in London. You have us in Nigeria. I am not a tenant. Some of beef, you are too much. Nobody but you always young and mighty. When I heard that you clock 50, I was ex. Oh, okay, get it. Now, 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 we have clock 50. Where did we do your navy ceremony? You have a lot of beef, you have a lot of beef. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think there was one I saw where I think you were selling laces and things like that. I think maybe it was in Leia or Ramadan or something. That's my store in Tejo Show. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like, the, the, are you able to do that skit? Um, in America, to continue, and I'm also setting up uh, my closet. For the character, if you don't mind, I can take you around a bit to see the place. Okay, so uh, setting them up for the speech to continue. Sorry, I might be losing a bit of lights. Um, no problem. <laughs> all right, so so um, the closet parts of it. So I'm just building the set for. Alaja Donjazi. I brought out. I brought in so many of those clothes from Lagos to wow. set up. And this this morning, I did a trial um, with this place. I released the skit this morning using this background, you know, uh, to make it feel like a show in Tejo show. So I did more of an improvisation um, set um, using a part of my closet to make it feel like a store. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm also having uh, a flex banner in a part of the house to make it feel like a studio so I can record some other things. And I had to do this, um, you know, set for interviews and I bought the ring light. So I have some of my write-ups on the wall and now 
all of that. So, um, it, of course, I would continue. It won't. It won't. It won't stop. Um, no one can stop you if you do not agree to stop. No one. No one can make you feel less if you don't agree to feel less. So I agree to stop. I'll keep working. If you can't continue doing it at this age, who am I, your baby, not to do that? Oh, that is so nice. Well, you see, that is uh, in life. and But life is a struggle. People ask me, when am I going to retire? I said, no. Because I, disco I discovered my passion mm -hmm. and I think with it all the way. If I'm 80, if I'm 90, as long as God gives me good health, I don't see myself stopping journalism. That's why now I'm doing the interview. I'm, people are wondering, this 60-year-old man, ah, he come out for a road for us. It's a lie. I'm not going to come out for any road. I, rem I, I, I remember discussing with my husband. My husband said, ah, for a while now, as an artist, you need to train. You haven't trained it. I said, yes, people have seen Elijah. What else can I use? I said, let me look for trouble. Because um, people need to see a bit of trouble. I know Kudele Momodu's interview is coming. So let me look for trouble. My husband said, what do you want to do? I said, let's go and snap. So I wore something short. I drew my pants up. And I did this. Oh, oh my goodness. Picture. Pop, 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 pop. Like, yeah. I got the attention. <laughs> I sent it to Abbe, our designer. I said, Abbe, yeah, 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 yeah. I, said, I didn't even want to ask you. Oh, no, I who don't know the nature of our work and business. People think being an entertainer means like traditionally, you must be poor. Just mm -hmm. entertain you till you die in penury. And I refuse mm -hmm. to follow who is that. They don't know the meaning of reporting. Okay? Why should I be a reporter if nobody is going to watch my show? If nobody is going to read my story, it's the same thing with you. If you like, do your comedy from now. If people are not laughing, you will be the one laughing at yourself. You know, so I, I, I enjoy it. No, 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 no. I, I, you, you are definitely very smart, and I can see that. Now, let's talk about something that I'm sure would interest a lot of our uh, women in particular. Sometimes it's very difficult when you are popular to hold on to your marriage. Let's start from how, the, how you met your husband and the journey, how you have been able to maintain, you know, your home. Well, I, I met Okufemi, as I call him, when I was still a receptionist at a Korea Make Studios. Um, and it was just Okufemi that used to just come to the studio to visit one of our Oga. Then after a while, I don't know what goes into Uncle Femi. He said he wanted to rap. <laughs> so my my Oga started playing with him and they, he would just come to the studio, they would be recording. Then at this point, I already got into University of Lagos my year one. And they told Uncle Femi that ah, let's use the impulse voice to play. But you give her money, Ellen likes money. And the guy said, Oh, I can't even remember who this hell is. That, that little receptionist. He said, Okay, let us let us let's have her. So I got to the studio and I think they gave me 15k. So I did what I had to do. So then as I was leaving, someone said, ah, that's the guy, Ellen, the August friend, very selfish. I said, eh, he doesn't give extra. They said he doesn't give extra. Because as a receptionist, if you come to our office, at least as we are going, let us just know that, that you are nice. You know, just give us maybe 2,000, 1,000, you know. And they always give Give us. So as a receptionist, I used to, it was like toll gates. I'm sorry. I used to collect settlements, you know, when people are going, you're going. <laughs> so as, but for me that time, I would give, give him an award when I become somebody great. Paso ma, okay, you marry 10,000. As I did know, Paso, as I did. We just come. Ah, oh boy, Elin Paul, how are you? Ah, oh, well, don't let you know. everything. All right. So uh, we are going. Well, thank you. We recover very well. He will always say thank you to us as a receptionist. He has never looked down on any of us. And he will give us money. A lot of us just say, only pass for you. Pass gave me 10,000. I think well, many of you will be sharing it, 1,500, you know? So then we could also reach him. We could call him. Hello? Sir, so we just uh, sometimes someone's 
put a yellow, you get loud, simply drop your message, you know. Will drop message, you know. Sometimes they will call, many times they won't call, but each time he sees us, he makes us feel cool. Um, so I went to Uncle Femi and I told Uncle Femi that, so I'm so sorry, we like you, but I will know that you're a lawyer. Out of all the guys, friends, you're the one that don't give us something, <laughs> you know. And my husband said something like, What? I said, ah, Maybe meet buy money and all of that. He said, eh, I don't understand. I don't know. I said, Came so close, he gave me the money. I went to buy snacks and gave everybody. Then the next thing I collected his number and I started calling him. Thank you, sir. Everybody is happy about the snack you bought for us. Then I gave his number to everybody and I started calling him. Oh, thank you for the snack. Thank you for the snack. And he called me. I said, Is that is it that important? I said, ah, sir, giving is a blessing. You will never be broke because it might be small, but we appreciate it. And that's how I became. But that's friend though. So from friend, friend, one day he invited me to his church house on the rock. And I told him that, well, I would like him to come to my church first. And he said, where's your church? And I mentioned King's Word and he came. He said, do I know the church in Ife? And we laughed about it. Then I followed him to his own church. Right from Gates, Unilag students. Ellie Paul, Ellie Paul, Ellie Paul, Ellie Paul. And he said, okay, let me just show you where we'll be seated. Took me to where we'll sit. I dropped my bag. I said, I'm coming, sir. He said, okay, no problem. I went outside. Ah, Uncle Dele Moto, Joe, Titi Tafi, Paris, service me, was So I was just talking. So by the time, after service, he came out with my bag and saw crowds. I was laughing, playing. And when I saw, like, ah, have you finished short? He said, yes, ah, I'm sorry. He said, well, you haven't come to my church today. I said, ah. I, said I didn't know you were popular. Ah, how popular is school, local champion. <laughs> Of uh, Unilag, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And from there, you know, became friends. I was just telling Uncle Uncle Femi, there's this thing I want to tell you. Uncle Femi, I'm so angry about this person. He just has one calm way of, you know, he listens. And when we started dating, I was like, and uh, so when I saw that would that like me, <laughs> me too, I not like him back. And the likeness is there. I'm um, no. Stop. So now it's my roommates. We share the same hostel. We have children <laughs> in the hostel. No, it's, it's, uh, but I just know, I just, just conscious, like I said, I live a conscious life. I don't just see him as husband. I see him as a senior brother, um, as, as a father, and I'm conscious about it. So what works for us uh, differs. For me, I will still use air for him. I will still Still use Uncle Femi for him because I, I realize that for me, the way it works for me, when I'm able to de um, define and draw the line, we don't go uh, uh, cross board, we don't um, move across the boundary. So uh, that style works for me. For some people, it's when they call their spouse name that they enjoy freedom. You know, so um, I won't say you have to call your spouse, auntie, or uncle, but that's how it works for me. I'm consciously. Uh, submitting. I'm consciously saying I have no choice. This is where I have to be. Is when you have a choice, you'll be selecting. Having father, and I won't want my children to experience that. Wow. I yes, I noticed that in you. You you know the story of the biblical rules. Utabokoku. <laughs> Uncle Dele, let's don't bring that one to the public, eh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> because the way you wanted in yourself to go back to to your family, oh my God, I've never. I said, but there is COVID. He said, no, I must go. Kai, but now seriously, <clears throat> as an artist, there is always a problem. <laughs> Most of your friends are male. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that not create conflict sometimes? How are you able to maintain your integrity at home? To con do you need to convince your husband that these are just my destiny helpers or my colleagues? Or is there any time your marriage has been threatened because you are close to people? Just like the way I will post another person and say, oh, my mentor, and it doesn't even bother you as my father and mentor, Kudele, as well. 
So you know what is yours. It's not by proclaiming or by posting of the pictures. Everywhere I go to, I'm back home. If something happens to me now, is the first person that would know. So when I'm talking to friends, sometimes I'll tell them, you know, I just open up things. So, like I said, it's not just that definition of husband. You would have seen the red lights before you get married. If it comes, then you will come to the theater, see me dance, you know, with shorts, bomb shorts, see me dance with a uh, crepe top, having guys carry me, flip me around as a dancer. Then, when I was in Faith Bond in Yabatek, you know, I, I used to dance. He's been seeing all of that. So, he knows, you know, and for me, everybody I use, I I love you, I love you, who's used to it. But I know that when we are in the other room, uh, life is uh, <laughs> life is different. Uh, you know, nobody can have that food. It's memorable, you know. Hmm. So, but why is my name? Uh, I bet you. you have the honey gel, or what do you have? No, gel is not. <laughs> my so in that part, I don't joke with it, you know. Uh -huh. So, but, but the truth, but the truth, but the truth is that he knows that I have no choice, as he has no choice, you know. That is my father, is my friend. He has taken over, and I have taken over. So I have to consciously submit. So that's what I do. That doesn't mean that you won't have clash. You have clash, but not. Um, having your colleagues, you know, come in between. That is not a home is home. And when I'm outside as a stage, that's a stage. We're doing performance and that's it. Wow. But someone like you, you look to me like a lady who will be very jealous. That's why it's all your shakara. Ah, I'm very jealous. So. Aha, you see? Why? God, I'm jealous. No, me. When just like a child, like I said, I'm my husband's baby. If a child see you crying, another baby that is not part of the family, the child will react. You are not the one that will pet the child to say, "Don't worry, don't worry." I'm just we we'll go home together. So, I'm just being the right baby. Wow, wow. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. We've done well over one hour, and thank I, you. I wanted us to keep it short, uh, but. Uh, my, I think my final question will be, so what next are we expecting? Elijah Don Jersey, um, starting um, my associate professorate soon um, in America, uh, but still looking forward to enjoying our TV show, Jara. Um, having my own show come up after COVID and we getting back a sweet and normal life that we've always had. <laughs> Your fear for you not to speak about Jara. Can you tell us about, about Jara? Uh, Jara is going to be level. Yippee! We've been doing it for 10 years plus now. And it's been great working for that company, I must say. And presenting with Uti, also, that's my television husband, you know, always covering up for me, always there. Sometimes I was just telling Uti, I admire this line that they wrote for you can i take it so, yeah take it and okay helen i like this line should we take it helen help me you know collaborative effort and it doesn't feel like a job it just feels like a playground where i'm just going to be having fun anytime i'm going to the studio i'm excited to Uti's house in 10 years he has never been to my house he doesn't even know where i stay i don't know how his house looks like but when we come to the office, we are colleagues and we're doing very well. So that's why I said you must learn to draw the line and give a great definition of who is who in your life. Wow. So I think uh, Ellen Paul is a billionaire. When are we expecting you on the cover of Forbes? Uh, well, the truth is I haven't got into Mike Adenuga's uh, level yet. Who I'm still looking forward to or ten dollar. Yeah. I haven't got it there yet. <laughs> Sir? With with the grace of God and of course your connection, I'm getting there soon. Amen. Amen. Now, thank you, Ashiri. Thank you, Arole. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, everybody. I see you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I've really, really enjoyed myself. It was a blast. Thank you. God be with you and speak to you later. My regards to your husband and to your children. Take Thank care. you. Thank you so much, sir. I love you. Bye-bye.
love you too. Thank you. We'll play some music and okay. If you ask me, you take up for granted. If you ask me, 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 if you ask me, you become our national anthem on this. I have a lot of uh, followers here who will fight us if we don't play the Dufay tonight. 